and welcome along. Today we are back on Gwen Thor, uh, and we are in a position now where we can do our first silage harvest. Uh, the thing we don't have, of course, is a silage harvester or trailer. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to purchase those. Uh, I am looking at the, the Lely P300 or, or the Lely Storm. Uh, our other alternative is the Pottinger here, but that's 48,000. Uh, and while I don't want to use the Massey, uh, I think these are our better choice. So uh, I think I'm going to get... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Storm. Uh, rim colour, uh, we will go with grey. Standard setup. I do not know what an inoculator is, so we're going to leave that as it is. So we will buy that. Uh, and then we need a silage trailer as well. Now, I've been having a look through various type of trailers I've got here. So I've got a Bailey trailer. I've got a Bailey one that holds uh, this silage here for 35. Holds uh, 45,000 litres. And then we've got the class ones that hold 18. Uh, we've got the Fortuna that holds 33. Uh, the Heron that holds 25. And all of these are not great really for the prices. And the one that I found, I think, that's the best is the Stuart here. So the Stuart here is um, uh, holds, oh, if I go back one, uh, Stuart here holds 37,000 litres for £24,000. Uh, I quite like this. Uh, we want, if we put double silage sides on it, that will be good. Uh, Stuart livery, a Scottish flag, a UK flag. Uh, I think we will just go with the Stuart, Stuart livery because we are in, uh, Wales, of course. So, uh, there we go. There is our silage trailer and our silage harvester. So we're going to hook these up. Uh, our, I believe our tractor is able to hold these uh is able to run this um <clears throat> yeah 140 horsepower we are absolutely fine so let's jump in to our vulture which is in desperately need of a wash but until we start working on a yard we can't really do anything about that because we can't place a uh, wash point here so we'll hook this up there we go I don't know how if that has dynamic hoses. It looks like it might. So uh, we're going to hook this up to the trailer. And then we will have a look at the possibility of dynamic hoses. I'm hoping that I'm in a good position to hook up. Oh, that's why I'm, I'm positioned right. I'm just not quite in the right place. Right, so let's uh, zoom back in. And uh, we'll jump out. What's that doing? Uh, that's our uh, mud guards. I'm going to leave the mud guards on this. Has that connected up? I'm not sure. Don't think that has dynamic hoses, by the way. No. Okay, good. Let's go give this a try. So hopefully, what we'll do is we will uh, we'll get this running get this to open uh, yeah we'll get this uh, running and get field three uh, working on this and with any luck what will happen is we will find ourselves uh, with a full trailer and when we have a full trailer what we need to do oh, this is going to be tight I think we're alright because the nice thing about this Stuart actually is it's a turning trailer yeah right so Unfold this. Unfold our pipe. Turn it on. Sounding good. Yeah, there we go. Do we have a book missed? That. Right, let's try this again. Put the tractor just to the side here. Yes, and it's filling up. Fantastic. So yeah, that is what we'll do. It is working actually really quite well. I'm 
really pleased with this. That is a fantastic setup. Our <laughs> Vulture is really quite dirty. Turn the, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's working very nice. I think I'm going to leave it until we get a little bit further along. I don't quite know, but that is filling that trailer, isn't it? Yes. It's filling it right at the front stop. So I'm going to keep going rather than immediately trying to get a screenshot or anything at this point. Uh, I'm going to go around this field and I'm going to get this done. That is working an absolute dream. Really nice setup. And it's something I've not done. I've not really harvested uh, silage this way before. It's going at about six miles an hour. This storm is really quite a nice silent harvest. Somebody, somebody got very excited when I uh, suggested last episode that I was going to be using one of these. Um, and I'm just, I'm just really pleased, and I'm loving the Stuart trailer. The Stuart trailer is just working brilliantly for this. Missed a little bit in the corner, so I need to remember that when I'm. Uh, doing the uh, when I'm doing the wind rowing next time is that trying to get that in that corner is a little bit difficult but we are getting a very nice amount of silage in this trailer although it does seem to not fill from time to time yeah, it's kind of jumping a little bit now Fantastic. I'm waiting for it to go a little bit further back. I don't really want to be getting another tractor at this stage. Wow, we're only 26% full wood after our first round. But that's good. There's, there is a lot that this will take. So this silage trailer will take about 30,000. You can see now, actually, now that it's got a bit full, uh, it is now working its way backwards and filling the trailer at a good rate. So that is fantastic. Which means I want to get outside and get a shot in a minute. Let's, uh, we're good, there we are. Come around now. That's the way this is. Maybe we'll be able to get that road a bit like this previously. Like so. Fantastic. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. So, what we're going to do is this is going to go down to the BGA. We're going to go and tip this down there. Uh, build up a, uh, a load of silage down there, get some work started with that. Um, I think what we'll probably do is try to get that set up. So we'll get a front loader on this and a, and a weight and things and uh, try and get the silage uh, done down. So we'll get a nice big weight for the back as well. Uh, and that way we should be able, we might even see if we can get some dual wheels. What I want to avoid is spending too much money frivolously. Uh, but we will start doing submissions in a bit, uh, doing some sort of contracts and stuff in the area. We're also, I've decided that this field, at least partially, we're going to use for a new yard. We're going to extend the uh, sheep area and, uh, and use at least some of this for a new uh, yard. 
yard. Of course, the other thing we need to do is we've got we've got our sheep now. We need to act, make sure that we actually are able to uh, get them fed. So the first trailer off this field, uh, we're going to be using that to uh, to feed the sheep. Hopefully, we'll get all of this done today. We'll get all of this forage work done today. And then we can look at, yeah, and then we can look at getting silage made from it last time. I'm hoping there's more than one silage clamp down there. I mean, we are at 74%. But it's having trouble filling it. I don't know if that's the Stuart trailer or not. We can only get 28,000 litres in here. We may be better off changing the trailer. Give it a try, but I don't want to lose any more of this. Yeah, that's not filling that trailer any further. Right, so, looks like we can only fit about So, looks like we can only fit about 28,000 litres in this, uh, which is unfortunate. I really wish that I could have got more. So we'll un uh, disconnect that. We'll connect up our silage trailer. The only other thing I can think to do is uh, is hire, maybe hire another tractor that will go along beside us. You to follow me and... Uh, and get alongside. Only thing about that, of course, is follow me is not something that's going to be available in FS19 uh, as a base game item. Uh, but mind you, neither is this trailed forage harvester or uh, this Stuart trailer. There we go. I just got to work out where sheep's feeding trough is. Ah, there it is. Okay, good. We can go and tip this into that. And away we go. Should be from this side. There we go. Six days worth of feed, very little in there. Gets our gets our twenty sheep going. We are going to have to get some. Uh, I had to get some water to them as well, but at the moment they're okay. Yeah. Right, let's get back out of the field and head back down this way. Quite a big trailer setup and stuff that we're we're running here at the moment. And it is it's slightly concerning to me that we got such a big setup for such a small farm at the moment. But the thing is, this is this is what we're starting with. This is the setup we're going with to begin with. I am a little bit miffed that I can only get about 75% full in this trailer. I'm wondering if I need to drop the sides a bit or something like that. Uh, maybe see how that works but let's have the, the sides like that should cause this issue should fill in the middle and we should have been able to fill that whole uh, field in this trailer now I think I have gone the wrong way the BGA is not down here the BGA is down this way so I should be able to head down this road here I think it's a little bit of a roundabout way to do this, uh, but we are—we have really gone the wrong way. 
Wow. I do like these windy roads. This was this was one of the things I loved when I was doing the first look at this map. Is the fact that there are these nice, narrow, windy roads that you can get from various bits and pieces too. And that this is working. This this works so very nicely doing this. Right, so no, that way, this way is where so the PGA is in here, I think, uh, to our uh, to our left at the moment. Yeah, there it is. Just off the main road, into here. Oh, and it is a drive-through BGA as well. So we could conceivably in future course play through here. Not for now. Just gonna do this. It does look like we have a single silence plan. Come out a little bit on the centre, but we're okay, we're all good. I'm going to go straight out of here and head back up to the field. So, yeah, that has worked well. Uh, it is possible to do a nice round course. Uh, so, if we could get if we could get course play to behave, we could certainly be doing this uh, with a course play run down here. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, if we've got two tractors and trailer, if we've got a tractor and a trailer and, uh, and this, then we're not, we're not really going to be able to do that anyway. Uh, 44,000 doesn't really give me a lot of tractor options if I wanted to add a second tractor to this. So for now, whoa, we want to go in this gateway here. Uh, for now, what I want to do is... Uh, Try and keep using this trailed harvester. There we go. Far end. Get it in here at an angle so we don't catch the trailer. Back down here and pull it up behind. Get the rest of this field collected up. And hopefully, move on to the next one. I don't think we're going to have time to do all of that today. We should get this field done today, then. There we go. Now, we are going to lose some doing this because it's just the way it picks it up. Unfortunately. It's not quite a perfect setup. There we go. Right, and turn it off. And away we go. If I sort of go full pelter, it should fill up. Yeah, it's doing. It is doing it. Sounds good. might be when we're doing turns that it has issues. We're going to do every other row because that will be the best route. Yeah. yeah, that's filling up nicely. Sort of feels like it's missing the, uh, the end bit every so often, but it is filling. It is going up slowly. Hopefully going to have a really decent amount of this field. And of the other one, of course. I do like... In, in principle, I do like the setup. I do like the, the Stuart trailer on this. It does look nice. It does look really nice. It's one of those 
losing, right? I'm not sure if we are losing. I don't know how much we're losing if we are. It is the number is going up at a steady rate, so it's not like it's uh, constantly missing. But I'm just not 100% sure. I'm guessing that five to six miles an hour is the working speed of this piece of kit because we have plenty of, uh, of power to do this with. Uh, I wouldn't expect us to have any kind of issue with really. uh, power wise, speed wise, unless it was limited to this working speed. Which six miles an hour, I suppose, is about the same sort of speed as a combine goes at, so uh, it's not overly surprising. There we go. So yeah, I am liking this setup a lot. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is uh, try and get this clean up. Yeah, we'll get this field out today. What we're then going to do is uh, work out what we're going to do with the other field. I think the other field we will get cleared up as well. Let us know in the comments, would you like me to continue to do this or would you like me to uh, get the other fields done off camera? I'm tempted to, uh, to try it with a different trailer. If we did, maybe hire a different trailer and, uh, and have a go with that because it, uh, it is a little odd that we can only get about 75% in using this setup. I would have expected a much, much better uh, ending than that. Yeah, see, I'm thinking we're losing stuff. I think we may have to switch out the steward for something else. Yeah, if we can only take 25,000 yeah, 25, litres in it, we might as well. Get one of the uh, one of the other trailers. That does seem. I don't know whether it is this or uh, or the trailer that's causing this problem. But yeah, we'll get the rest of this field done. Uh, we'll finish once we've cleared the last two roads, and then I think I'll have a look at this uh, this mod setup and just I'll, I'll run a couple of tests. Uh, without saving and, uh, and see if I can figure out what's going on, whether it's the uh, whether it's the trailed um, Lely or whether it's the um, or whether it's the Stuart. It would be a pity if it's either of them, to be honest. Right there we go. It's the last row. Once it, once it stops trying to get right at the front of us, it then has no issue until it's doing right at the back. Right, and there we go. So that is this field done. I'm going to turn that off and, uh, and come outside. So yeah, that is, that is this done. Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with how it's gone. It's not gone uh, really well. I think there's a little bit of a, a couple of bugs to iron out in this. Uh, next time we may continue doing this uh, with a different setup. Uh, but for now, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.